Hey Agency Warriors! Ever had your team push back on a new process or ways of working? Maybe you wanted to bring in a new business framework like EOS and wondered how to get buy-in from your team. Or perhaps you're getting pushback on some cost-cutting measures you want to implement at your agency. Or maybe it was just a new software you wanted your team to adapt but are met with some resistance. Change is often something that folks resist and sweat about. Let's tap into how some agency veterans navigated that challenge and see how they turned that sweat into swagger. We're talking about change management playbooks that take an agency team from what the heck to heck yeah. I think when our team is successful, you know, if they've had challenges and they maybe resisted on like a change within the agency, seeing them take hold of it and feel good about it and own that space, I think is a proud moment. First stop, enabling an innovation incubator at your agency so that change is accepted and welcome, not something to fear. Picture this, your agency is a mad scientist's lab where every idea, no matter how crazy, gets its moment on the stage. Sounds fun, right? It's also a really good learning opportunity for people if they aren't a part of those conversations regularly, then it's difficult to ask them like one off, like, hey, what do you think about this? They might not kind of be used to having those types of conversations with people. So kind of going to the team consistently, having everybody a part of these types of higher level questions gets everybody used to asking themselves those questions, trying to kind of come up with better solutions. That is what innovation should feel like. A place where what if meets why not, and they have a party. Rule number one, everyone is invited to the party. Yes, even Kevin from accounting, especially Kevin from accounting. Our culture is one where everybody sort of has a voice. You know, we share a lot of things, everything's done um, as a team. And so everybody, like our creative reviews and our creative meetings, the whole staff participates in that because we figured everybody's got a perspective. And so it's a very open environment, very fun environment. And ideas come from people who don't define themselves as creative people, but they have good ideas that a creative person can take and run with. And so that's always been very strong for us. Set up those idea jam sessions where no idea is too wild. Remember, today's silly idea could be tomorrow's gold mine. Here's the real game changer. Don't just clap for good ideas. Throw them into the ring and see if they can dance. Got an idea? Great, you're now the project lead on making it happen. This isn't just about fostering innovation. It's about creating a squad of action heroes ready to take on the world. Leadership in times of change is like being the protagonist in an epic blockbuster. There are explosions, chase scenes, and you riding the sunset. But instead of a horse, you've got your agency. And instead of a sunset, it's the bright future of digital marketing. Build out those efficient communication systems and methodologies. There's a lot of information flowing and a lot of conversations happening. and Everybody needs to be kept in the loop. You know, it's just you can very easily get into a situation where the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. That's been, the, I think, the biggest thing over the last years is developing the systems that allow everybody to easily know what's going on without having to have conversations with everybody and interrupt somebody else's work and to, to make that all smooth. The, the system, getting the systems in place so that there's not confusion. Communicate like you're narrating the best story ever told because you are. Your vision for the agency isn't just a plan. It's the script for your next big hit. Make it so compelling that your team can't wait to play their part. Be the director who can switch genres on the fly. It's something that we are as an agency, like super transparent with our team. You know, like when we're going through hard times, like we let the team know like, hey, this is like, we're tightening our belts a little bit. Here's why, this is what we're doing. One day you're in a drama, navigating through tough emotional landscapes. The next, it's a comedy where you're laughing off the bloopers. It gives them that insight into like, here's why the bottom line matters. It's because when you're looking at a balance sheet or you're looking at a profit and loss statement, it's really easy to say, oh, we can just cut this big line item because it's an expense. And if we don't, we haven't done a good job communicating the value that that line item that we are, then you know, it's going to be easy to say, see you later at revenues end. Whereas if we do do a good job of that, they'll be like, oh no, we can't cut that because they're responsible for a huge amount of our revenue. Adapt your leadership style to whatever the scene calls for.
All right, time to turn your team into the ultimate hype squad. Change is coming, and instead of dread, your team's got cheerleaders, a marching band, and maybe even a mascot. Why? Because you've shown them that change isn't the monster under the bed. It's the ticket to the VIP party. Start with the VIP perks. What does change bring to the table? More skills, more wins, a cool new project? Whatever it is, make it shine. Your team should feel like they're upgrading to first class on the Change Express. Honestly, probably keeping people excited about the change management. And because people innately are scared of change, so showing them that this is the way and getting them excited about it, I think is the forever biggest challenge because people have the innate tendency to just stay comfortable where they're at. And as business leaders, we are the ones who constantly have to be looking for the next thing. Give everyone a pen to sign their name on this masterpiece of change. When they're involved in crafting the journey, it becomes their baby. And let's be honest, who doesn't want to see their baby win? And so you need to stay on top of it and make sure that your team is empowered and able to modify the, the processes and so that your processes become kind of a, they're a living document. They, they're always getting changed. And the pre people that should be updating them are the people that are doing them. I see a lot of people, they make the processes themselves and then they just kind of like gift them to their team. And if anything needs to be changed, then they, it falls on them to make the changes and, and do it. But they're, they're the guys that are doing it all the time. And so if something changes, they're going to be the ones that are aware of it first. Every milestone deserves its own after party. Finished a project phase? That's a toast. Overcame a snag? Break out the confetti. These celebrations aren't just fun. They're fuel keeping the momentum high and the spirits higher. Last but not least, forge an unbreakable bond. This isn't just a group, it's a tight-knit team. A team that supports each other, picks each other up, and celebrates everyone together. When you're in it together, change isn't scary, it's exhilarating. Change? It's not a beast to be feared, it's an adventure to be embarked on. With a culture that's buzzing with ideas, leadership that's straight out of Hollywood, and a team that's ready to cheer each other on, there's nothing you can't conquer. More details on winning at change management at your agency is in this post. The link is in the description below. Got questions or want to share your own experiences with change management? Drop a comment down below. Found value in today's video? Hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with someone who's on this agency building journey. Until next time, keep pushing, keep innovating, and most importantly, keep putting those clients first. See you in the next video.